Hi guys, it's Tegan, and this is going to be the answers video for my 50 subscribers Q&A, and I'm sorry it's so late. I've been really busy with you know, the holiday season and school and doctor's appointments, been going to a lot of those, so um, I just have not had time to edit, but I do have videos coming. I'm going to show you what the pets get for Christmas and a review on a, um, their food cage tours for Christmas, stuff like that, so that should all be coming in the next couple weeks. And I was going to show the pets in this video, but I can't read braille and hold a camera at the same time, so um, let's get started. So the first person who asked the question was Peachy Pet Paradise, and she said, congrats on 50 subscribers. You deserve loads more. So. Thank you, Peachy Pet Paradise. And I'm sorry if I don't, like, say these things exactly word for word. I did write this in shorthand, so. Um, her first question was, what made you want to have guinea pigs? Um, I don't know exactly. I always thought they were cute. Hello, keyword. That's my kiwi. Um... I didn't really want, want one until the summer when I was 13. I'd always thought they were cute, but I didn't know the first thing about taking care of them or anything like that. I wasn't really serious about it. But then I saw these videos on YouTube of people with their guinea pigs, and they would do all this stuff like weak when they walked in the room, and they could train them to do tricks, and they were adorable. So that's kind of what made me want them when I found out just how smart they were. Huh. He's so agile. Any pigs aren't supposed to live in a vertical world like Kiwi does, but she seems to be handling it pretty well. I should have money for a new cage after Christmas. Uh, number two. What do you love the most about owning guinea pigs? I love how friendly they are. Um, when they hear the wheels of my chair on the linoleum coming towards the room, they all start weaking. When I come in, they all start weaking and popcorning. Um, they're just so friendly. They're so intelligent. And it's so much fun to watch them do stuff. Um, and they make individual noises and certain noises for different things so you can understand what they want. I love watching them do playtime, things like that. There's a lot of things things I love about them, and it's fun to arrange their cages. I am proud to say Rose and Petunia have never had the same cage arrangement, and I've had them for over a year, so that's pretty cool. Our third question, what made you want a YouTube channel? Um, I learned most of what I know about guinea pigs on YouTube, so when I got Rose, I decided that I wanted to, I guess you could say, give back and put my own information up there. My first channel, I've deleted most of the videos from because they just weren't that good. You got the information, but they weren't edited, kind of like the first few videos on this channel. Um, but I was just one of those people who knew what they wanted to say, but rambled a lot in between what they said. So those kind of videos annoy me, so I got rid of those, and I started this new channel that's mostly guinea pigs. Um, basically to help people because I want to show people these toy ideas that I come up with and teach them how to take care of their guinea pigs because so many guinea pigs are not well taken care of. Her fourth question was, have you been inspired by someone? If so, who? I was not exactly inspired by one person. I watched people's YouTube channels for a long time before I got one. Like, uh, Piggy Farm, he has almost 500 subscribers now, and when I found him, if I had been able to sub, I would have been his 101st subscriber. So I found him quite a while ago, but I was not able to subscribe for a long time. Peachy Pet Paradise, I actually watched your videos, even though you didn't have guinea pigs. I love your rats, Cookie especially, she's so cute. Um, so I wasn't inspired by exactly one person, just kind of by the pet people as a whole. If you could have any other pet, what would you have? Um, I would have a horse. Horses are awesome. We were actually going to get one, 
but we could not find a good place to board it. And then we did find my new stable that I ride at. I started at the beginning of the summer, but they don't have any open places. And right now, just it would not work out. But I would definitely have a horse. Hello, Flounder. Do you want to help? Okay. You are going to have to stay out of the way, though. Okay? Just stay right there. Lie down. Good boy. Colors for Hamsters asked, If you could be any pet, what would you be? And by this, she meant, like, any pet animal, because I asked her. I didn't know she meant mine. But I would be a horse, I think, just because... Um, they live for 30 years and I think that's a really good amount of time and they can just do so much um, they can run and jump and all that I think it would be really fun as long as I was treated nicely second question do you like peanuts? then in quotes, the food kind and then a wink um, no, I don't I think I might actually be allergic so, no third question how are your pets so adorable? That, I don't know. <laughs> Why are you so cute, Flounder? Hmm? Why are you so cute? Will you say hello? Say hello, everybody. Um, I was actually talking with my dad about why guinea pigs are cute. And we were just thinking they have those cute little round faces and round bodies and tiny little legs. We were talking about this actually before she asked the question, so... I was wondering that myself. But I think all guinea pigs are cute, all rabbits are cute, all rats are cute, all hamsters, so... Fourth question. What's your piggy's favorite treats? Um... Rose and Petunia really like carrot munchies. Or they might be called carrot crunchies, I can't remember. Um... But Kiwi will not touch them, I don't know why, but those two love them. They all love veggie straws, and they all love healthy bits, and they all love raviolos. So, those are probably their favorites. Fifth question, do you like mashed potatoes? And yes I do, especially my mom's. She makes really good homemade ones. Sammy NJM asked, who are your favorite animal channels to watch? I like a lot of channels. I, I'll i try to list some. I'm sure I'm going to forget some. I really like Roquefort the Rat, Peachy Pet Paradise, Colors for Hamsters, um, Chocolate Colors 26, but I'm sure you've all heard of her. Um, let's see. I like, I do like Sammy and Jam. I do like your channel. Um, let's see. Some really good ones. I cannot think. See, I'm subscribed to all these people who have such similar names. I like Lu and Lu, Yankee Boo, The Cavi House, Hamster Love, and TLC Love, Piggy Farm, and there's others. I just can't think of their names right now, but there are others. Uh, Founder, you're gonna have to move. Okay. Stop moaning. He keeps moaning. He always moans. He's such a boisterous puppy. Uh, second, her second question was, "What's your favorite animal?" And my favorite animal would have to be either a horse, guinea pig, or rabbit. They're all kind of tied. Have you had other rodents before? If so, what and how many? Um. Well, actually, guinea pigs aren't rodents. That's a common misconception. But they are the first small pets I've ever had. I've had other animals, but none of them were small pets. Well, they were small, but they weren't, like, small pet fuzzies. Like hermit crabs, fish, stuff like that. I have had another dog. So we had Mickey, our mini schnauzer. My parents got him before I was even born. Then we had Cleo, who passed away a couple months ago. I've had probably over 25, 30 fish. And I've had five hermit crabs. No other rodents or any small pets, though. Georgia Piggies 45 said, Yay for 50 subscribers. You deserve loads more with five exclamation marks. So, thank you. And, um, first question was, Favorite channel? And 
I don't really have a favorite. There's a lot that I like. Um, my second question was, what do you love about guinea pigs? And I kind of already answered that, so... Just personality, things like that. Rogue Fruit the Rat said... <laughs> she said, ooh, Peachy Pet Paradise stole my questions, but I do have a few more. So she asked... How did you get introduced to the pet community on YouTube? And that is a really good question. I have never heard that in anyone's Q&A. Um, if you've gone to my channel about link, you'll see that I have a Google Plus account, but honestly I do not really use it. I've tried to figure it out, but I just cannot figure out. Um, the Google Plus, it's very confusing and hard to use with the voice things, like voiceover and all that stuff. Um, and so I just kind of have been basically making myself in there, asking people um, to look at my channel to see if they think my videos are good. Um, I basically just worked my way in there. Yes, you stink. Uh -huh. You stink. Ugh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want down? Come back when you want. Second question. How old were you when you got your first piggies? And I was 13. I was probably capable of handling them a little earlier, but that's just when I wanted... That's the first time I really wanted one. Third question. What is your dream pet? That would be a horse. If not a horse, a rabbit. It kind of depends. Um, but if I can get to walking again, then definitely a horse. And who are your favorite YouTubers? Both pet related and not non-pet related. I've said a lot of pet related ones already, but non-pet related. I like... Mr. Epic Man and Mr. Epic Man 2. It was the same guy with just two different channels. I like um, a lot of horse ones, which I guess are pet related, like Free Riding, Alicia Burton. And if you're into horses, I'm sure you've already seen her videos. Um, I like Blob the Cob 101, Jumper Girl 101. A lot of horse people whose names I can't think of because they're just their names. But channels like that, I'm only subscribed to like three channels that aren't pet related. And those are all the questions. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, commenting, all that, and asking these questions. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I am planning on having a contest at 100 subscribers to say thank you. Um, so be sure to share my channel so we can do that. Thank you. Bye. And thank you guys so much for 64 subscribers. That is awesome.